What's happening, everyone? My name is Speed Streak. Welcome back to Dankarampa V3 Killing Harmony. Now, as you can see from the last episode, we began the official first class trial of Dankarampa V3. And everyone was wondering who killed Rantaro? And everyone has gone through a lot of scenarios. Like, if actually, they're suggesting maybe Gonta killed Rantaro, but, they, but no, the bookcase was in the way so that Rantaro couldn't have hit. Well, gone. So that Gata couldn't have hit Rantaro, it wasn't, Mew couldn't have done it because she didn't know that the cameras were being put in the library. But then everything changed when, when Mew said that after the cameras had snapped, there's a 30 second interval which means someone could have killed Rantaro in that time span. And everyone pointed their eyes towards Shuichi. And I don't think it was Shuichi who did it. I don't think so. I mean, he was the he was the he was the one who planned all this to try to catch the mastermind and try to end his killing game. I mean, he does want to help everyone. But I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this predicament. But whoever the culprit is, who might be able to find out in this trial. Wow, this trial is racing towards thrilling conclusion. Do you know who the culprit is? Well, not, well it's definitely not Shuichi. <clears throat> Obviously, I know, because I know everything! <coughs> what? Know everything? <coughs> know everything! <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Daddy knows everything about anything. He basically traded his bearhood for Godhood. Well... Yes, he has betrayed his Ursine ancestors. Ursine? Trade him? No, oh, I'm still obviously there. It's obvious, right? Right, you guys? Yeah, sure ain't no fish, but you damn sure smell like one. Anyway, since I know everything, I'll tell you the whole story later. Try your hardest and you have the culprit, and believe me, that's no lie. If I lied, I would shake the game to its very foundation. So trust me and please enjoy the class trial without any worries. <coughs> hmm. Well, it is. We are worried. Class trial resume. Uh, once again, I'm sorry about the frames dropping. Well, it's making me nervous as well. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> and what's that? What do you mean? I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. What? Okay then. Whoa. Sorry about that. Shuichi. I don't think it's you. Oh crap, everyone is definitely going against him. Silence speaks volumes. I, fucking knew you were the culprit. I don't think it was him. Wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Yeah. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. Exactly. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Um when, well, not exactly. Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. Yeah, Shuichi was the one who went down to check to see if everyone was going to the library when they were actually going to the game room. That's right. I'm going to check out the basement. I'll come with you. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. 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 That's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro. No, that's wrong, Koichi. No, Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone. Right. Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Yeah. 
and Shuichi did go to the basement, he couldn't have killed Rintaro because... Because the sen security sensor go going off? Oh, that's right. I get it. Oh, I was! Yeah, because Shuichi had the sensor. The alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. Yeah. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. Exactly. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. Exactly. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Was it Koichi? Kokichi? Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? What's with that face? That looks like a very Tim Burton-esque face. I'll set the camera set that's connected to the security sensor. Set so carefully so that the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. We'll set the cameras near each door. Yeah. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? Um. No, I didn't check. Yeah. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm. What? No. Why? Shuichi, please say something. What? And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved to the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker. No. Shuichi, please say something. Please send please give us your alibi. No. At this rate, everyone's gonna think Shuichi is the culprit! I have to do something! I know for a fact that he's not the culprit! So, I gotta do something! From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Oh no, I hate these! Your truth bolts will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as object obstacles. Please, for the time, please time your truth bolts just right so they won't get interrupted by white noise. You can use the silence with A to shoot down the white noise. Now, why would you do that? Well, not because does not, not because not only does it make it easier to shoot the right weak spots. I see. You also get additional time. What a great deal! Use it to your heart's content. Thank you for your opportunity. Okay, I need to first. I need to see what everyone says. Well, this is definitely new. Receiver on Shuichi. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Shuichi, please say something. Shuichi couldn't have had the sensor on him. That's right. I should have evidence that proves it. Now it's a shadow of doubt. Receiver on Shuichi, rear entrance photos. Could it be the receiver on Shuichi? That has to be it. That had to be it. Moving the bookcase. That had to be it. That's wrong. Uh, okay, that's wrong. 
Okay, I messed up on that one. The security sensor was armed tonight. The moving bookcase isn't what triggered. That's not it. Damn it. Yeah, I screwed up. Okay. The moving bookcase isn't what triggered. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. Could it be the hidden door photos? The sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Could it be the lookout classroom? Damn it, that's not it! Crap! The security sensor was on. The moving bookcase isn't what triggered. What? Damn it! Shoot! What am I what am I doing wrong here? The security sensor was on. The moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved. That's not. No, that's wrong. Damn it. No. Oh. The security sensor was on tonight. The moving Less. bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from Shoot. the sensor when Shuichi. Damn it, that's not it. The security sensor was on tonight. The moving bookcase isn't with. That's it! No, that's wrong. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I was able to finally get it. That's right. Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security That's right. wasn't placed, then... Ah, oh, okay. I was an idiot right there. We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. That's right. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. That's right. Oh, that's easy to explain. Well, you see... It's not easy to explain, is it, Kokichi? So you take that back. Uh, I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. Thank you. You're giving up that easily? What? What's with that face again? Yeah, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken. Yeah, it was a lie the whole time. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit. Yeah. Wait just a minute. Oh, now, now what is it, Ryoma? The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. What are you saying? However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. What? No! No, 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 no! He had it on the whole time! That would get you a picture. But no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. He goes to the 30 second interval. He's got time to go in after Rantaro. What? He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. No! I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. Shuichi, please, say something. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. How needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? No. <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Yes! 
Shinichi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Please. Just say something. Shinichi, what's wrong? You're not the culprit, are you? Yeah. Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn your their noise? In? What should I do? Everyone suspects Shuichi. There's no way he's the culprit, but even so. Why won't Shuichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? If that's the case, then it's all up to me. Protect everyone, I need to take control of this debate. Even that means I have to lie to do it? Lie? Did you hear that? A lie? What? Now, I know that sounds crazy. Telling a lie in a class trial? Well, I have... Well, but something tells... But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. Could it be? Oh, but don't worry. There are no lies in this tutorial. Oh, please. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you have to lie to yourself? What? I have to lie to myself? Doesn't that get my heart pumping? Well, my heart is pumping already. Oh, why is to lie? Okay, so I need to hold it down. Here's how it works. It's like the truth bullet, normal, like normal non-stop debates. But when you hold Y, the truth bullet will become a Y bullet and with the opposite meaning. Raising Y will shoot the truth bullet. When you use a Y bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury, a statement that paints the truth that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. Oh shoot. But if you miss with your truth with your lie bullet, you'll take damage, so be careful. Also, I've heard a rumor that there's a secret way to advance debates. It's called a back route. A back route? Let's just say that only those who lie well will be able to find it. I'm not very good at lying, but I prefer to tell the truth. Let's see what everyone says first then. Oops. Bookcase. Sorry about the noise. But he had it turned off. Maybe that one. So when Rantaro moved to the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sound. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. That's a cool. Hidden the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro. And then he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase. And return to the lookout spot. Afterwards, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua, we've solved this case. I think I might know what it is. The base of their suspicion is that Suichi had the receiver for the security sensor. If I can argue against that, everything should be okay. I have to retake control. I have to tell a lie so I can get closer to the truth. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the main bookcase. Shinichi also had the receiver. What? Oh, damn it! I, I think I know what it is. But something was in the way. Sorry, I know that was still funny, but... Still. I think I know what it is. No, no, no! Damn it! Damn it! Sorry. Hopefully this time 
And the frame rates are going down again. Well, at least, okay, at least, at least they're not going down again. No, we didn't! I have to lie about that! I have to perjure it! Okay, this is completely new! Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Oh boy. Forgot? Yeah, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> tell you the truth. It was me. I had the receiver. Huh? What? So that's why there's no way Shinichi could have turned off the receiver. That's right. Well, even though well the way she lies is because he earlier he's he suggested that she should hold on to it. Oh, even Shuichi's surprised. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? Um yes, it is. Oops. That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you want to cover for Shinichi, even at the cost of your life. Uh, no, that's not it. Huh? Oh, Shuichi's listening? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meat bags. That's not true. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. <laughs> when less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind and faces is radiant. Well... Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? Okay then, moving on. I am sure that person didn't want your love. Kaidi and Shuichi are pretty buddy buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Mm. Plus, the way Kaidi just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. Oh yeah, because he's he's a master liar. A talented liar like me can spot exactly. other people's lies easily. I still don't like that that Tim Burton face. Oh crap, Kaede. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe Kaede? That is the question. Um, Sorry, I had to poo. I want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He's been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. He might be thinking this trial over. No! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Thank you, Kibo. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, this ain't right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I agree. But I don't know if Ottawa agrees. Because right now it's his nap time. Seriously? This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Got that right, Kanta. Oh, what the? What? Split. Did you just say split? Huh? You did. I heard it. I heard it with my belly button microphone. What? So wait, your ears don't do anything? To present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. More phenomenal? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm just as confused as you are. Trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that. Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Shuichi because he's definitely not the culprit. 
we vote for him, all hope is lost. I won't be able to save anyone. But I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. Before I can save everyone, I need to make sure we're all on the same page. You're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums are perfect. In a debate scrum, you'll be split into two teams. Oh. Oh, this is new. Opposing subject keyword, opposing subject. This is new. When you, then you argue your opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up, the subjects and their statements don't even match. That's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. That's how you make a good debate. Your subjects... Your side subject keywords will be displayed, but your opponent's subjects won't, won't be revealed yet. What? Listen closely for the subject of your opponent's argument. Before your opponent finishes their statement, find the same subject keyword with up and down, and press Y to argue the subject with the same keyword. I think I see what you're talking about. If you and your opponent's arguments match, then your opponent's keyword will be revealed. When all the statements match up, you will enter the finale, trying to convince all your opponents at once! Continuously tap the button displayed on the screen to push your opponent's claim out. Oh. So confirm. Bam, 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 bam. Fast forward argument makes it. Decide to press, keep pressing Y. Same select, make a statement, fast forward argument. I think I get it now. Okay, so we need to find the subject and the right keyword. And there's the opposing subject and the opposing keyword. Don't get pushed back. Claim, push your claim up for a perfect refutation. Thank you, thank you, thank you! This is definitely, 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 definitely new. Split opinion. What? Huh? Shuichi. Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Keep all together. Intervals receiver lie. Shuichi and Kaede went together the whole time, were they? If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Intervals receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? Oh, culprit. I need to choose what point will be raised before the opponent finishes their statement. I have to beat the conductor and match my side points by my opponent's points. I'm gonna convince everyone that Shuichi is not the culprit. Oh, I see. The Shuichi. The culprit. Wait, together? The lie. That's it. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. If our points don't match, then we won't be able to make a convincing argument. That's it. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Oh. But you were silent about intervals too. Yes, exactly. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an impression. Alibi. Up Shuichi's alibi. Didn't she? Exactly! Together! Together! 
the receiver. Kibo. The receiver. Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. I get it now. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it. That's... We'll know whether or not it's lie. I'm not this through. through. Crouch behind. Sit. Oh. Damn it. Oh, it's, it was B. What's more? Let's... Yeah. Yuichi. It's it. The culprit! Shoichi isn't the culprit! Oh my gosh, that was awesome! I actually really like that one. So I get it now. Everyone, you have to believe me. Shuichi is not the culprit. Yeah. If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. Exactly. And if that happens. Everyone will be executed. I definitely won't let that happen. Even if it costs me my life. Right. Kaede. Shuichi. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Going to believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Right. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Exactly. Right, Shuichi? Shuichi? Huh? What is it? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? It must have. You're scared to reveal the truth. He, it, he is? He is. I thought so. What? Shuichi. Answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please. Face the truth. Okay then. Shuichi. The picture. The picture? Picture? What? Picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door. Just before the murder. Aimed at Oh, when the one when Rentaro was looking at? That one? Really? Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rentaro is trying to remove the camera. Right? But that must mean he noticed the camera he set up. Yeah. Did, but did he? That's true. But when did he notice that? Yeah, when did he notice it? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. Yeah. This picture was taken when Rantara moved the bookcase. It's right. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. But it was at a circuit 30 second interval. He tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. Yeah. The sensor was triggered, and that's when this picture was taken. Exactly. Wait. We must find the reason why he noticed the camera. Don't confuse on everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! Yeah, because since it was at a 30 second interval, and at the, near the end of those 30 seconds, that was when Rantaro noticed the camera. I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? Exactly. Why would he? And why? The answer in this picture. I see. Chuichi knows. Because... The camera flash? I get it. It was the camera flash!
Yes, the flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. That's right, because for the other pictures, they didn't have any flashes. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. How can you tell the flash went off? The lighting. Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Right. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? Yeah. This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. Okay. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. Yep. Oh, ugh, I forgot the mugshot. There we go. This is the picture of Rand Yeah, it's the flash. Yeah, see, the lighting's different. Whoa, the brightness is totally different. Right. Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there's a disparity in brightness. Exactly. But who would turn on the flash? Exactly. Maybe. Really? Another reason? What do you mean, Shuichi? I know this. To lure the mastermind closer? I get it. Is it to lure the mastermind? The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. Really? So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Yeah. Hey, Kaede? What is it, Kaito? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Strange? Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. What? Do you know who the culprit is? Kairi, what's with that face? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. What? Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? What? What? No! No, it can't be! Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is... No! Got it. I... Oh, wait, whoops. Wait. Wait a minute, that's right. Oh, no. No! No! Right? But you can't do that. 
It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. What's going on? From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. Playing as Suichi now? You can trust me. I will make your wish. I'm Suichi now? I'm playing as Suichi? Kaede is the culprit. Huh? Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? Is it? That's right! Wait! Did she set up the camera? Kaede? Did, did, did Kaede... If I remember correctly... Yeah! Akaidi just duct taped it all the way. Kaede. Wait, did she really? <laughs> just kidding. Kaede. Just kidding. Just kidding. Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? What? I think Shuichi knows better, because he's the ultimate detective. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. What? Yes. No way Kaede could be culprit. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. And accusing you of being a culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. How is this joking around? Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. Shuichi? I understand, Kai. You want me to reveal the truth, don't you? <clears throat> I think everyone's afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. But if you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So fight for the truth. Excuse me, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping and let, let that be your strength. No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. What the hell did you just say? Did she? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. Kaede? Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? No, we weren't. How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot with all? Should become clear when you consider where she used it. Where she used the shot football? Where? Huh? What? I lost you guys. 
Kaede? Kaede wants me to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. So, I can't back her down. I can't back down. I need to fulfill her wish. I need to fight for the truth. Here we go. Bloody shot put ball. I have an alibi. Let's look at everyone what everyone says the same. I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. They never saw Rentaro. How she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rentaro was killed in the library. The only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. Kaede wants me to feel the truth. She trusts me with her wish. I won't let her down. I will find the answer! When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Oops. I think I might. That has to be it. That's not it. Damn it, that was bad. I have an alibi. Look out truth on a code file one. When one shot put ball. I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Let's see here. We'll show a video. Could that be it? Kaede never saw Rentaro. And how she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. That's it! That's wrong! That's wrong. Kaede didn't use the shot to fall at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom, where we were keeping watch. Kaede. Hold on. I think I know how. Not scientific and possible. It is. Possible. Yes. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already know about that. I think I know. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to know. But I can't turn away from the truth. The place she rolled a shot with ball to move it from the classroom to the library. I know this! Oh, are we doing Hangman's Gambit? Yeah. Hangman's Gambit version 3.0? We need to do a keyword, you'll be thrown to Hangman's Gamut version 3.0. The objective is to select the letter orbs in the right order to create the keyword. So, show, hide question, flash spot, concentrate, get the letter orb. Press A to activate the flash shot to read the illuminated key letter orbs. Oh, I see. While letters are illuminated, you will not be able to, be able to actually select a letter orb. What? Make sure you remember where they are and press Y to get the letter orb. What? Remember, you have to select them in the correct order. Deduce the keywords from the letter orbs that you can see in the flash spot. The flash spot uses focus energy, so use it wisely. Ways a light will occasionally cross, occasionally cross screen, so you can letter, so you can read the letter orbs then. So take advantage of that as well. Thank you for listening. Oh crap! They're making this difficult for me. Vent. V. E. N. T. I it, it. I see now. It was the vent.
right. know the answer to that as well. It was no coincidence. The culprit set it up that way intentionally. Is it the books? If I'm remembering correctly, there was something off about her then. Damn it! How could I not realize it? Kaede. It's too late to regret the past. I said I wouldn't back down. I made a promise. It was the stacked books. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Grand Tyler's head? Yeah, that's impossible. It's not impossible. Maybe the shot was on the floor. And then Tara tripped over it, causing him to hit his head on the bookcase? No. Watch out so you don't slip and fall! I'm seeing what everyone says. That's not right. Like he was standing under the vent when the shot hit his head. Then no. he walked a few steps before he finally dropped dead. That's wrong. Kaede. Don't lose sight of the truth. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head? Yeah, that's a thing. It's not like it started rolling on its own. I can agree with that! It did roll on its own. It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on my child's head. Right! Along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? Yeah. It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot ruled exactly how the culprit wanted. We used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot how could I have seen that before? How would that even work? Uh, it would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. Right. That's right. Someone did have a floor plan, and it was me. In fact, that might be the concrete proof of my theory. Mew Iruma! That's it! That's it! Mew, I recall that during the investigation... You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. Right. Oh yeah! What happened with that? Let us see it now. And let's look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Right. Please, Mia. Please. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. Eh? Huh? Ah, feast your eyes on these babies. There it is. Oh, I see. It was at an angle. Of course, when the roll when the ball rolled, it was right there. She, I get it now. So she stacked the, the front books higher than the ones in the back. So that way, when the ball fell down and rolled, it would have hit Rantaro's head. It's just as I thought. What is the books? Books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. 
Right. Oh, Shuichi is right. Yeah. Indeed, they are staff like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. Right. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Right. Yes. I'm sure of it. The shot was rolled into the classroom bed and came out in the library. If the bed was open, the shot would have maintained the window. Yeah. You did that, right, Kaede? You Make sure, sure the vent was open. open. That's right. I pushed the grate into the duct. I my body and looked inside. How's it look? Could a person fit in there? It would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. Kaede. You have a really good memory, Shichi. Most impressive. Right. Exactly. I think, I don't know if I heard this, but I think Kaede did say that she does like Rube Goldberg machines. So Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube, whatever set up, when did she roll the ball into the duct? What? Was it Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? Not always. When did Kaede roll the shot put ball? Had have been at just the right time to, to kill Rintaro. Kaede rolled a sh ball shot when Shuichi went to the basement. Okay. Actually, crap. Oh boy. Actually, when she was leaving, when she was leaving the classroom. <clears throat> Shuichi, the receiver! Someone built the bookies! Hurry, Kaede! Shuichi sprang out of the classroom with the determination of the true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and, and ran after Shuichi! Your admission of guilt. Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions! Oh no. <laughs> That's weird! Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. <clears throat> oh man. What? Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Looks like it's gonna be another non-stop debate. 
Stack books, materials, belongings, blade shop, a ball. Let's see what everyone says. Promotional video? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents. Of course. It would have made a ton of noise. No, that's whoops, I missed it. So much noise. Of course it's a big deal. I think I know what it is. It's the promotional video BGM because while that was singing, that's what it was. Okay, that was wrong. Shoot! Oh crap, I'm, I'm almost dead. Actually, no! That's right there! Why did I miss that? Okay, the ball would have made a total noise. Okay, I, okay, now I know, I know, I know. Damn it. There we go. That's wrong. Got a V counter. Right. Exactly. What? Yeah, you heard it too, Kaito. Kaito, are you done now? Actually, all of us would have heard about it. Damn it! So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? I hate to say it, but yes. So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. Right. And the <coughs> great aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered in to end to end with cluttered stacked books. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Geez, there are too many books. Might be too hard to set up a camera here. Hmm, I thought so. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Kari, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Kaede. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? That's right. When, when, they, when they were in the warehouse. You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? Right. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Shuichi was already at the door of the warehouse, waiting for me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. So you were hiding it the entire time? Where would she have even hidden it? Her backpack. Where did Kaede keep it? It can only be one place. In her backpack. That's it. Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. Right. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. A spare vest? That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. Kaede. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. 
None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. Right. That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? It's not a mistake, Ganta. Kaede? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? Yeah. She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood. No, something still doesn't fit. What is it, Shuichi? Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Yeah, that's right. Heidi wouldn't definitely want to kill off cold blood. You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? She, well, she did do it, but she, yeah, she, she doesn't, she isn't like the type of person to kill. Yes, I did say that. But murder and cold blood is just not in her character. It isn't. I truly really believe that. I believe in her. Right. Why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief is... It's going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. What's behind all this? I'll show you your truth. I know this is getting crazy, right? But it's time for another tutorial. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they're in argument armament mode and won't listen to you. Okay, here we go. You have to remove their armaments to refute what they're saying. The rhythm cat pattern game again. That's how argument armament works. The objective is to destroy. Whoa, that's new. The objective is to destroy all your foes' armaments and strike with the finishing blow. So rhythm button, rhythm button, rhythm button, rhythm rhythm button. Fever time. You match, you match the rhythm to shoot down your opponent's statements to, match their, uh, to damage the armament. This is definitely new. Markers on top of your opponent's statements are called rhythm sites. I see. Mm -hmm -hmm. When the gauge makes one revolution, press the correct button to shoot the statement. Oh. When damaged enough, the armament will break and the music will change. The tempo will also pick up, so match the timing. Can't get on the rhythm? Try pressing RB to activate Fever Time. During Fever Time, you'll be invincible and, can, and you can press any button. You can only activate when your focus energy is full, so watch it carefully. When your opponent's armor is destroyed, you can give your final argument. Your argument will be displayed in four words, assigned to A, Y, X, and B. I remember this from the last game. Press the buttons in the correct order to land a finishing blow. Use split second logic to refute your opponent's final argument. As always, it was a pleasure. Oh boy. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the cult. Damn it. You think I wouldn't do it? It's all my fault! You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. Damn it. I'm the one who killed oh. Rantaro. That's the truth of this case. And that's all there is to it. I'm a terrible murderer. No, you're not. I'm... I betrayed everyone. I'm the one who killed Rantaro. No, you're not. I know you can do this. If 
You say you believe in me, and... <laughs> Don't look away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! <laughs> Final blow! Do you know what I was trying to do? Kill the mastermind! You're going to kill the mastermind! Kaede. You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. You were trying... What you were trying to do... Was to kill, kill the mastermind. Kill the mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She wasn't. She was targeting the mastermind. Right. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Oh. Isn't that right, Kaede? Right. Kaede. I see. Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? Right. But it's all my fault. Why, Shuichi? Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. <sighs> my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Shuichi. Stop. It's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Kaede. No! Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? What is it? Can you... End all of this. What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all, all this. I'll reveal, reveal everything. The truth, the truth and, and the lies. I want to help. I want to help you grant Kade's wish. I will now explain the closing argument, the final piece of detective work to end this trial. In the closing argument, you will wrap up the case. You have to reproduce the order of events in the case in the form of a comic book. Expand panel, fit panel, turn page, turn page, panel, select. Expand panel, fit. Okay then, that's new. But this creation is just Shuichi's deduction, so there are gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. After selecting the panels with up and down, press LS to remove the cursor over the gaps. LS? And fit the panels with the empty space with Y. Only the correct panel will fit. Compare the empty space hints with the stock panel hits to complete the comic. There will be some panels you cannot select at first. Filling the gaps correctly will not unlock the other panels. Press L and B to switch pages and start filling in as many as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Why want to fight against Monokuma after hearing the additional motive. Oh, damn it. It's on it. Mataro knows it's the flash. Classroom vent. Flash function on. Who's asked to modify the cameras? It was me. What was the murder weapon found? Okay, up. That must be it. What did the culprit do? Turn the flash function on. What? No? Oh, okay. Whoops. Sorry. What books did the culprit set up last? 
about to Mew. Security Seaver. Open the encyclopedia. Whoops. Who's asked to modify the cameras? Miyu Iruma. So this is a definitely a bit different. I've been in the classroom for our time limits. What? No? Oh, the security sensor goes off. Where was it rolled? Classroom vent. Why wasn't the sound... Okay, that's where it was. Bookcase returned to its right position. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's right, because Kaito... Here it is. It all began two days prior. When Monokuma gave us the additional motive. Right. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. Right. I had my own plan to find the mastermind. And someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. Me either. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. Boop. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. <laughs> we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. Yeah, Mew's a coward. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder the weapon. weapon. Right. Shot, shot put ball. ball. They put the cameras as well as the shot in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. Right. But even then, the culprit was preparing a murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The 
culprit also tampered with a hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one, I didn't even notice their trick. Exactly. The flash on. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Right. Taro was with them, the first victim. Watching that group into the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, was the last chance I had to stop the murder. Right. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Ching. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. Huh? The modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with a flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. And then the camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. Yeah. Of course. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. It was. <laughs> the shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. It was murder in an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's the truth behind the lies. Any time I come to the ultimate pianist. Concludes the events of this case. No, Kayede did it. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna pause her here because unfortunately this is gonna be all the time I have to take for this video. But oh my gosh, Kayede did it. She did. She really did. 
I know she was trying to help save everyone, but... Did it go so far? I mean, if we had figured out who the Mastermind was without killing him, then... Well, maybe it would have been better. But Kaede was so determined to save everyone that... She really didn't think this through. I mean, what if some... I, mean, I know she never meant to kill her classmates, but... I'm just shocked. I really am. Anyways, this is giving me all the time I have to take for this video, so in the next one... Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not... I'm not looking forward to what comes next. So yeah. This may be all the time I have to take for this video, for this video but don't go where it's a play of more. Daigarampa V3. To look forward to more soon. So stay tuned for more. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to super smash that like button. Leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video. And don't forget to share a friend if you want to. And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Get updated for all the latest content. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.